जोने हालो अपी हालो अपी Yeah. 
merciful in your way. You are so terrible, Lord. You are terrible, so terrible in your way. You are so faithful, Lord. You are faithful, so faithful in your way. You are so awesome. You are wonders. His mercy endure forever. He made his ways known unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. He's showing us the two in our own day. His ways, his acts made manifest unto us. Just wave those hands unto him tonight and acknowledge Jehovah God, Jehovah Jireh, the mountain of the Lord. It shall be seen the provision of the Lord. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. The one that has done all the labor on the earth and has made the profit of the earth to be for all. That you might take your portion with ease. Appreciate him and magnify. He is the Lord. There is none that can compare with his matchless works. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto God. Oh yeah. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. One more time as you rejoice for the law, you part ways with penury. You part ways with backwardness. You part ways with failure. You part ways with losses. Increase has come. Enlargement has come. Plenty is here. Your abundance is here. Money and wealth is coming your way. Clap your hands all you people. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph! Woo! Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Amen! The prophet of the earth is for all. Yourself inclusive and your seed after you in their generation. In other words, losses is not your portion. Reduction is not your portion. Regression is not your portion. You rise to rise. In the world, they rise to fall. In this kingdom, we rise to rise to rise to rise so that we can rise again and rise again. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people! Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph! Amen! I want you to know that God has visited your life with abundance and plenty. You only need to go forth from this mountain to start doing what the Lord has chosen for you to do as work. And whatsoever you lay your hands upon, begin to prosper. It begin to prosper. It begin to prosper. No more loss. 
Anything you do, profits will come out of it. Anything you do, profits will come out of it. Whatsoever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. Whatsoever is it that you lay your hands upon shall prosper. You will succeed in everything that you set your heart to do. Eternal life in you, God's life in you, has made God's power available for you in all you do. So now, increase blessings are yours. Increase enlargement are yours. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. Take your seat tonight and tell three people beside you the profit of the earth is for me. <laughs> the profit of the earth is for me. Ah, look for one more person to announce so. The profit of this heart. Hey, it's my own. I'm taking my portion. I take it, 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 I take it. Hallelujah. Amen. It's been a wonderful day. Rain has been falling. The heavens are open upon us and different things have been happening. And um, I believe I want to believe you are here in the morning. If you are not, you better get that morning session where Daddy was leading us to deal with the habitation of cruelty. And don't forget the instruction. Pray that prayer 20, for the next 21 days every day. And the best way to do it is to get your own copy and play again and pray and pray again and pray. The devil is in trouble in your life. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me. I said the devil is in big bad trouble in your life. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I want to quickly run us through some practical, uh, is it practical, practical session, or maybe things that I have personally practiced, financial principles that uh, Daddy and myself have practiced over the years, and I've taught people, and people have practiced, and it has produced kingdom results, and it, it keeps producing kingdom uh, results in our, in our lives and in the lives of people. But don't forget that if you are a child, if you are a human being, human being, you are not a dog and you are not a rat. How many people are here that you are not a rat? <laughs> you are not a lizard. You are a human being, authentic human being. The profit, the physical profit of there is for you. And to make your matter glorious, if you are now born again, you become the seed of God on this same heart. The, not only is the, the profit of the heart your own, the blessing of the Lord that makes you rich. No matter who you are, if you are a teacher, it will make you rich. If you are a bricklayer, it will make you rich. If you are a pastor, it will make you rich. So, you have double, triple, quadruple, multiple level chances, faults of being wealthy and rich, having all sufficiency. That's my own definition of uh, being rich, not necessarily that your name come out in Guinness Book of Records that you are the wealthiest African or whatever, but you always having all sufficiency in everything that you need to do for God for yourself, and for men, and on the earth. Amen. And uh, if you read through, I took time to read through. When I'm reading through every book of the Bible, I found out that God has blessed his people. God, this God that we serve, the true God of heaven, the God of the Bible, is a God of prosperity. It's a God of abundance. It's a God of enlargement. It's not a God that manages. It's not asking three people to manage one room, as it were. From Genesis to Revelation, every chapter of the Bible reveals it. Every person that God walks with, their life reveals it. In the days of Jesus' earthly ministry, 
He displayed that abundance. Anything he needed to do per time, the power of God was there to make it happen. That's what it means to be blessed. Anything you need to do per time, God's power will just be there to make it happen for you. If it means that you will find money in the mouth of fish, then it happens so. If it means that bread will multiply, it happens so. And if it means that you are a fisherman and you want to catch fish, and at the word of the Lord, you throw in your net, and every fish from every corner swims into your net, whatever, you always having all sufficiency, abundance. That is, that is it. That is it. If it's not enough, God has not come. If it's not enough, God has not come. When God comes, it is always more than enough. It is always in the overflow. And you must believe it. You must know it and believe it. Stop joining people that are, that are, that are uh, talking against the blessing of God or people that are blessed. Talk for the blessing. Don't talk against the blessing. This God, he blesses us. Our God shall bless us. That's what the Bible says. So it's the God that blesses. From before creation, he has provided everything that man will need on the earth. So he created man into abundant provision. Man only lost that provision through misbehavior. I spoke about that yesterday. That most people, it is not the devil attacking them. It is their human misbehavior. It was not, the, it was not as the devil attacking Adam and Eve to eject them from the Garden of Eden as much as their own disobedience to divine instruction. If the devil come a million times and you refuse to give him room and you keep doing what is right, he has no room. The devil has only the room you give to him. Satan has only the room you give to him in your life. The devil is not that powerful. Don't accrue every negative thing that is happening to the devil. The devil doesn't have that power yet <laughs> to be the one responsible for all the problem of your life. Sometimes you need to look inwards. Which area are you misbehaving? Which area are you not? Sometimes it's a sin of uh, omission. What did God ask you to do that you didn't do? And wh where did you misbehave against wealth? So you need to look inwards. Where did you overlook a seemingly little uh, flicker of an instruction that came to you and you thought it was not necessary? And yet, that will pull millions in. And now, you are now saying, God, where is your face? Or what, what happened? And different things like that. It's my prayer that the, the, the Holy Spirit will just shine bright lights in every area of your darkness. So that you can take steps that lead you forward in the name of Jesus. So that you don't do another person's work. You do your own work. Your work is blessed. There is an anointed blessing for you. Uh, sorry, uh, business for you. There is an anointed career for you. There is an anointed profession for you. And there are some of us that God has called us full time into the ministry. We don't have any place in, uh, in the medical world. We don't have any place in the business world, but it is where God put on that we are doing what God has done because God told me to mention that so that because the pressure is always there after finance convention that you hear a lot of business ideas, a lot of things to do to make more money, to forget that God has called you and now start going to make more money. No, people that God has called to face his business, you set to face his business, it is where you are that the money will come and meet you. At least what you need, if you are not covetous. You must be satisfied with what God. Part of the oath of the full-time call is that you'll be satisfied with what God has given you part-time. Sometimes it is nothing. It is, it is inferior to what everybody has. Be satisfied, be happy, enjoy. Sometimes it is far, far better than what everybody has. Don't feel guilty to enjoy it. You understand what I'm saying? But for every other person, you pursue the job, the work that God has anointed for you to enlarge you, to increase you. It will prosper the work of your hands. Our God will bless us. And then you are not under a curse in Christ Jesus. Jesus broke that curse. So what you do must prosper. If you sell sand, it must prosper. If you study mathematics, you must prosper. People have studied one, the fame 
of fish and they, they prosper. They became a global phenomenon. Studying the fin of fish, not just the fin of tilapia or something. But because the blessing of the Lord that makes rich is upon them, they begin to prosper. And some have gone on their own immature autonomy. They are not matured. You know, they don't want, they are stubborn. They are rebellious. The rebellion will dwell in a dry land. They don't want to be under anybody. I remember one where she said, I, mean, I, can't, I don't want to work under anybody. I'm going to work for myself. I'm going to start this business. And they kept doing that over and over. The business never worked. They can't do anything on their own. They were not created to do anything on their own. But they had an attitude. Bad human behavior. You can't stay under anybody. You can't walk under, under somebody. And most of those, once you are on your own, and what you are doing is not enough to take care of your life, you are not supposed to be on your own. Get under somebody that will maximize you. You are on your own. You are waking up at 9 o'clock. Do some one hour selling. You go back home. You go and eat. You are sleeping. And go, get under somebody that will run you like mad. That will use you. Yeah, you missed a good place to clap now. That will use you. Use you like rainwater to, to produce results. So that you are working 22 hours out of 24 hours. You are working. When you are about sleeping, they call you again, James. That is how to grow. Uh, uh, that is how to grow wealth. That is how to increase in life. And before you know what is happening, you have become a colossus of a manager. You can handle seventeen things at the same time. You want, they only need to tell you this is what we want done. They, they give you three days. You you have packaged everything together. You didn't even know that a genius was being cooked in you. So those are, yeah, you can clap again. Now you missed it. So those of you that you just like, and pastors take note of this because I don't plan to pastor a, 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 a poor person. I don't plan to pastor a backward fellow. So once you see a, especially young brothers, young ladies don't even have that problem because ladies naturally be prone to doing business. At times she starts selling a gala, she starts selling this and that. You are the one that think selling biscuit and selling tomato is mean. Don't worry. <laughs> daily profit is coming. Once you're having daily profit, even if it is one one thousand naira every day, that's thirty thousand in a month. If you are not a spender, tomorrow by God's grace, that's what I'm going to be talking. About. If you are not a spender, except the Holy Spirit does otherwise. If you are not a spender, thirty thousand we accumulate to three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand we accumulate to three million. If you are patient enough, you know, three million will accumulate and become thirty million. Before you know what is happening, you are doing something significant. Selling tomatoes. Selling tomatoes. Because that is what was assigned to you. From, people think it's only we pastors that must get it right. What to do? Are you a pastor? Are you an evangelist? Are you a... You must know what God is going with you. What he asks you to do. Where you will access the, your own portion of the profit of the earth. You will not do another person's job. Yeah. So pastors take me. All these brothers that want to be on their own, he just finish your service and he's gone on his own. He's not wise enough. He can't maximize himself. Nobody can maximize himself. Nobody can maximize himself. Most people need somebody to drive them to pro. There's still a giant in you that is sleeping. You, it's, you need a higher giant to wake up than your sleeping giant. And say, I can't take Have you seen some people, they come to me, hey, I got a job, hey, I, I don't want to take it. I say, why? Because when I see people, you got a job, doesn't want to take it. I already know something is wrong with you. I already know that um, the, 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 the spirit of penury in your father's house has got you on your case. You got a job, I don't want to take it. Why? Hey, it won't allow me to come for Bible study on Tuesday. I say, forget, forget, forget that. <laughs> it won't allow me to do prayer meeting on Tuesday. I say, forget, forget about, about prayer meeting. Even your pastor goes to work on Tuesday. He knows how to connect to prayer meeting and lead, lead prayer meeting. When we went to Lagos Apostolic, your pastor was well, sharing how he minister only goes baptism to his driver on the mainland, uh, which third mainland bridge is he? Minister only in the car while they were going to the office in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Third mainland uh, bridge. Yes, on the third mainland in the car. Minister only goes baptism. Driver was driving, he was ministering from the back. And the real authentic Holy Ghost, not third mainland Holy Ghost, authentic Holy Ghost landed on the, on the driver. 
and then you have not said, you're just a fresh guy. I don't want to take that job. Don't let me come to, to prayer meeting on Tuesday. So I said, go, 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 get a job first. Start working first. And see whether you will come to a prayer meeting on Tuesday. Your prayer meeting is on Zoom. Is that not? And it won't let me come. And so I now see it won't let me come. Or it won't let me. Ah, I want to to share. I yet to share. It won't let me come. You will see. Once you see people giving excuses for what something has happened to them, that wants to reduce them. And I want that thing. Don't let the devil do you. <laughs> Don't let the devil do you. Amen. So you must, you must, you must rise up and do, get rid of every bad behavior and walk. They say that 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 uh, that work. Uh, they, they they say we should be for me to get there. I have to 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 to, to, to get out of there by six o'clock. So get it a G. You better wake up and get something. When you are in a system that is driving you to go beyond your flesh, ah, you are on your way to greatness. You are on your way to serious serious greatness. But once you start pulling back, and now it's too, when you somebody resign, what a, it's too tasky. And we just, uh, I say, why are you withdrawing from greatness? So people that want to be a pastor, they think once you become a pastor, you are just sleeping around. You are just sleeping around. No, no wonder you, you, you have become possessed yourself. I want you to see pastors that are possessed now with serious demons. Because they thought... Once you become enter ministry, no, just be, just be sleeping and be collecting prophet's offering until he collects a demonic offering that has burned his soul. You better wake up and work. there is your own work. Find it and do it like crazy, and don't tell me that and there's one job you won't let me do do prayer. do prayer meeting on your work. You understand what I'm saying? Come to, you have so much customer. Come to, run to, living by the answer. Finish, tell them you are coming. And go back after living by the answer at 8 o'clock. Do some two more hours selling before you close your shop and go. Yeah, people are not working enough. People are, walk with that blessing of the Lord and see, and see provision and see enlargement and see increase. And stop using, using church, church program. To, 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 to excuse yourself from, from serious work. You do the two together. You are standing on two legs. You work actively. You do spiritual activities actively. I mean actively. How do people that are, how do unbelievers still find time for night clubbing on Friday night? Is it not the same word that you are called? I say you are tired. That's why I, I close late. That's one of the things I hate to hear the most. I close late. That's why I couldn't make the prayer meeting. I know it's not going anywhere. He's sparing himself. Your colleague that closed late has gone to the club. This is your own club. Where you, where you refuel and you take some Holy Ghost energy and you take some life and you take some, some, some power for yourself. Amen. That is just a charge for your spirit tonight. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> a charge for your spirit. to so charge you to go and walk. Go and walk. You, are, you, are, you can do many things at the same time. One woman came to me and she said, um, <laughs> she was crying. I said, what is it? And she put the paper on my desk. I said, what is it? You can read. So I look at it. It was... Um, uh, pregnancy test positive. So I said, Congratulations. I said, Mommy, don't congratulate me. <laughs> so let me congratulate you. This is a new baby that is coming. I congratulate you. I said, Mommy, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm pregnant. I just registered for women ministry mentorship program. And uh, I didn't know I was going to get a job. I just got a job. And she, she got a very big a managerial uh, role. And then one other thing, okay, she's doing her master's. So I don't know how we combine all this for together. And now this pregnancy. I said, some people are funny. You don't want to get pregnant, you are sleeping with your husband. <laughs> how do we explain that? <laughs> I'm not saying we are not expert. I say you're running, you are expert. <laughs> you don't want to get pregnant, you are sleeping with your husband. <laughs> and there's no family plan. And you say, we don't know how it happened. <laughs> you know, people could be very funny. 
I see something enter their brain. They could be very funny. So I said, well, uh, you can expand. Say, I will expand. 